Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Gaffigan. I'm mostly healthy. I uh, worked out today. I know I don't need to. Uh, <laughs> When I'm home in New York City, I work out at the Chinatown YMCA, and I realize when people hear the Chinatown YMCA, they think, oh, that's not like a serious place to work out, and it's not. <laughs> it's not at all. It's mostly little kids learning how to swim and really old Chinese people with their parents. <laughs> I didn't even know you could live to that age. I get to travel so much doing stand-up. I did a show in Cologne, Germany, and before the show, I was walking over this bridge that went across the Rhine River, and as I walked across, I noticed there were hundreds of locks, hundreds of locks on this bridge, and each of the locks had two initials, and it was apparent that couples had put their lock there as a symbol of their relationship, and I looked at it and I thought, that's perfect, nothing captures love like a rusty padlock. <laughs> I saw a moose, have you seen him? I saw a moose in person. I mean, or in moose. <laughs> I, I'm a person who saw a moose. And I tell you, I don't, I don't feel like I was ready. I don't know how big I thought a moose was gonna be, but I was way off. <laughs> I, was, I was way off, I was, it was huge. And I feel like I should have been warned. Like, someone should have been like, you might see a moose, get ready. Sometimes when people find out I have five kids, they think I'm good at parenting, which is kind of like assuming people with lots of cats are not crazy. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, and there's no learning curve. It's not like when you learn from one child, you can apply to another one, because kids are annoying. They're like, individual humans. Their own interests. It's kind of fun tracking the North Korean missile program, right? They're like, North Korea has missiles that can reach Alaska. Oh my gosh, Alaska? Well, I don't know anyone that lives in Alaska. <laughs> North Korea has missiles that can reach the West Coast. Oh my gosh, the West Coast? Well, I don't go there that often. <laughs> North Korea has missiles that can reach the East Coast. Well, we gotta do something about this. <laughs> Now we're talking about real people! <laughs> Recently, I was invited to a surprise birthday party. It was a surprise birthday party for a dog. <laughs> That's right, I have friends that are mentally ill. <laughs> I went, I went, it was in my apartment building, and I needed the material. <laughs> and to be fair, the dog was surprised. <laughs> Didn't suspect a thing. Dog didn't know it was his birthday. Dog didn't know it had a birthday. You do learn things from those genetic tests. Like, I discovered I wasted a hundred bucks. <laughs> they send you information. Mine just said, dude, you're white. <laughs> In fact, you're very white. I hope you feel guilty. <laughs> they didn't even break out my nationality. They just highlighted all the British Isles. They're like, you're trash from here. <laughs> Wherever people need sunscreen. <laughs> I had my appendix removed in Alaska. That's not why I went there. <laughs> I was on vacation with my family and I had this sharp pain in my abdomen. And since I'm a genius, my first thought was, oh, I pulled a muscle in my stomach. <laughs> That's what I sincerely thought. <laughs> See all these muscles? <laughs> I thought I pulled one doing nothing. Devil, you know, it wasn't all bad. You know, devil did some good things. You know, he, he, he went down in Georgia. He did that. And he, uh, he, uh, you know, he was an advocate. He was the devil's advocate. And don't forget about those deviled eggs. Those are tasty. I do try. I try to be a good dad. My wife and I, we try to be good parents. We try so hard. Not that you'd be able to tell. Like, if you met one of my sons, you might think, oh, wow, Jim decided not to parent this one. <laughs> what, did he feed him in a cage? We try, we try to get our sons to sit at a dinner table like humans. It's not in their nature. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed by the uh, number of Tim Hortons in town. <laughs> There's some, but you go, to, you go to some cities in Canada and the number of Tim Hortons is uncomfortable. 
Like you drive by the fifth one and you're like, uh, uh, is this a Tim Hortons theme park? <laughs> Are we sure they're only selling coffee and donuts? <laughs> Tumors compared to fruit, they're, they're sometimes they're compared to balls, like a golf ball or a softball. But the surgeon looked at me and thought, I'm gonna stick with food. <laughs> I got a better shot of this fat <laughs> understanding. I joke around, but it was scary. We have five children. And there were moments when I was like, oh my gosh, if anything happens to my wife, those five kids are gonna be put up for adoption. I did have an opportunity uh, to go on a safari, which was unbelievable. It was breathtaking how bad the Wi-Fi was. <laughs> I went on a safari, which is just a fancy word for animal stalking. Because that's what you do on a safari. You follow animals and watch them. You're like... <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> what do we really know about massage therapists? They like to rub strangers for money while they listen to the Avatar soundtrack. <laughs> that's a red flag. Those are the traits of a serial killer. I don't horseback ride, mainly because I prefer to be comfortable, and it's not the 1800s. I'm sure the horses aren't thrilled either. They're like, why am I carrying you around? I saw you drive up in a Honda Civic. <laughs> Everything is crazy in Newfoundland. Everything. It's like, in Newfoundland, uh, what? Time zones, do you want to be in the same time zone as the Maritimes? We'll go a half hour earlier. Worldwide, time zones are done by the hour. <laughs> we'll go half hour. <laughs> to make this sauna more enjoyable, you're always seated next to a naked 80-year-old man. <laughs> oh, good, I get to sweat next to someone's grandpa who's only wearing a hand towel. <laughs> the nudity in this sauna seems unnecessary. This isn't Rome. <laughs> I just look around the sauna like, wow, so this is why we wear clothes, huh? <laughs> Occasionally, I will perform in a city I've never been. I did a show in Rochester, Minnesota. I'd never been, so I asked my cab driver, I was like, is there anything I should know about Rochester? And he said, oh yeah, we got a really cool bell tower. And I thought, oh wow, so there's nothing. <laughs> but I tried to be polite. <laughs> I was like, oh, bell tower, interesting. And he's like, yeah, I can take you there. And I was like, eh, it's all right. I, I don't want to overstimulate myself. And I think every man in here should get a colonoscopy because I had to. <laughs> it's not an easy decision because the best news you can find out from getting a camera stuck up your butt is learning you didn't need to have a camera stuck up your butt. <laughs> That's the best news. Yeah, we didn't need to do that. <laughs> We can just chalk that up, one for fun. I flew over, that transatlantic flight wipes people out. People are a mess, they're like, I need a day. I need a day. The flight doesn't sound that hard. It's like, oh, it's brutal. I had to sit and watch two movies. <laughs> I felt like I was being waterboarded. I need a day. It's flying back, 3,000 miles, seven hours, we landed, the guy sitting next to me was like, that took too long. <laughs> it used to take six weeks. <laughs> My wife was so amazingly strong and brave during this whole experience. For three months after the surgery, she couldn't eat solid foods. And our friends would send us the most delicious food she couldn't eat. So I found myself hiding the food <laughs> and secretly eating it. <laughs> it's like a whole new eating disorder for me. Am I supposed to feel shame? Because I'm helping my wife! <laughs> there was a time when bells were new, which means there were people that were resistant, suspicious. Yeah, I don't trust that bell. When they ring it, I cover my ears. I don't want the government harvesting my DNA. No thank you. There were probably people worried about the effects the bell would have on children, you know. Kids are already distracted. Now they're ringing that damn bell every hour. Soon kids won't even be able to read a sundial.
Thank mm-hmm. you.